All right, so next one. The distance from Santa Maria to uh, Los Alamos is 16.25 miles. What is the distance in centimeters? Ooh, this is a toughie. Okay, so 16.25 miles is what we are given. And now we are asked to convert it into centimeters. So you might be asking, how do we even begin to do that? Well, let's go look at our conversion tables and see what there is to see. So we need something with miles. We need something maybe with feet. Let's check it out. So I see that 0 0.621 miles is equal to one kilometer. And I know that we can convert kilometers pretty easily um, after doing that. So let's see if that will help. So I forgot the conversion. My bad. Uh, 0 0.621 miles. 0 0.621 miles. 0 0.621 miles. All right. One kilometer is 0 0.621 miles. All right. So that cancels out the miles for us. And we are left with 16.25 divided by 0 0.621 kilometers. So that gives us, let's do the math, 16.25 divided by 0 0.621. That gives us 26.167 kilometers. But that does not answer our question yet. So what is the distance in centimeters? So let's do our little conversion. So King Henry died by drinking chocolate milk. We are in kilometers and we are asked to get it into centimeters. So we have to go down the line to the right. So one, two, three, four, five. All right, so we write out our number again. Uh, there we go. Couldn't read my own handwriting. Okay, so our decimal is here, and we need to move it one, two, three, four, five places. So one, two, three, four, five. That's a new decimal place. We add in more zeros. So our number is two one one six seven zero zero centimeters. Add in some commas so it's easier to read. So 2,116,700 centimeters. All right, let's move on to the next problem. All right, so during the previous year, Zach's weather station measured 0 0.8 yards of rain. Express this amount in centimeters. All right, so this is going to be fun. So initially, we are given 0 0.8 yards. And we are asked to convert this into centimeters. So let's go and check out our conversion table and see what there is to see. So yards into centimeters, yards into centimeters. Let's look. So one yard equals 36 inches. Mm -hmm. And then 2.54 centimeters is equal to one inch. Okay, so let's use those conversions. Um, let me just write them down on my sheet of paper here. Just a second. Okay, so we know that one yard is equal to 36 centimeters. So we can just start, oops, I get my pen back. We can start by just adding a little multiplication sign there. I just use a little dot. And we know that we need to cancel out these yards, so we need something over yards. Um, so in this case, we have a nice conversion that says 36 inches is equal to 1 yard. So this cancels out our yards for us, but we're still left with inches, and we needed to get it into centimeters. So to do so, we need to cancel out these inches. So we need something over inches. Um, Preferably, this should be centimeters, and I saw in our conversion chart that there is 2.54 centimeters in one inch. So we can cancel out these inches, 
And now we are left with 0 0.8 times 36 times 2.54. And all of our units cancel except for these centimeters, which is great. So all we need to do is the math. So 0 0.8 times 36 times 2.54. And that gives us 73. 0.152 centimeters. Let's move on to the next one. If a swimmer swims 85.4 yards in 5 minutes, how many meters will they swim in 70 seconds? Okay, so we are given 85.4 yards um, in 5 minutes. So 85.4 uh, 85 yards per five minutes, okay? So how many meters will they swim in 70 seconds? So to do that, we need to convert our yards into meters. So let's go and start with our conversion sheet. So we go up to our conversion sheet, and we need to convert these yards in two meters. So to do so, we have to find, uh, find a nice conversion that is going to help us do that. So, okay, so we are just going to use the same conversion that we used in the last problem. So there are, oops, let's see if I can get this pen to work. There we go. There are 36 inches in one yard. So YD. And so this cancels out our yards and it leaves us with inches per minute, okay? So how do we get rid of inches? Well, we use another conversion. So we know that one inch is equal to 2.54 centimeters. Okay, so these inches cancel, and now we are left with centimeters per five minutes. So let's do this. Let's get rid of our minutes and turn them into seconds. So one minute is equal to 60 seconds. So that will cancel out our minutes and give it, give it to us in centimeters per second. And then from there, we can convert that into meters. So um, let's start by converting it into meters. So 2.54 centimeters. Let's sing, King Henry died by drinking chocolate milk. We are here. We need to get to our base unit. So that is one, two spots over to the left. So we write it out again. So one, two. So 2.54 centimeters is equal to 0 0.0254 meters. So let's write this all out again. I'm just going to move down the screen so that we have a little bit more room. There we go. All right. So da, 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 da. we got 85.4 over 5 times 36 over 1 times 2 point. Oh, no, I already messed up. Let me get my eraser. There we go. We converted this to meters, so we have to write our meter conversion. Meters here over 1 times 1 over 60 seconds. So that gives us an answer of, so that gives us an answer of 0 0.26029 um, meters Per second. So let's just call it 0 0.26 meters per second. Let's go on to the next one. All right, a gas station is charging uh, $1.29 per gallon of gas. What would be the price for a liter of gas? Okay, so we have to start out with what we are given. So $1.29 per one gallon. And we are asked to convert, what would the price be for one liter of gas? So let's look up at our conversions and see if we can get something over gallons and liters here. That was pretty big L. All right. 
So I see here that one gallon is equal to 3.79 liters. So one gallon is equal to 3.79 liters. The, the, so that cancels out our gallons. So we have um, $1.29 per 3.79 liters. But it is asking us for how much for one liter of gas. So all we have to do is divide this out. So $1.29 divided by 3.79. And that would give us $0.34 um, dollars per liter. So it would just be 34 cents per liter. Okay. Last one. So how many feet per second is a wave going if it travels a distance of one mile in 7.35 seconds? Whew. So we have one mile divided by 7.35 five seconds is what we are given in the problem and it is asking us to convert to feet per second so we know that there are 5,280 feet in one mile so that would cancel out the miles for us so we are left with 5,280 feet per 7.35 seconds and it is asking us to see how much feet there is in one second. So all we have to do is divide this out. 5,280 divided by 7.35. So 718.37 feet per second.